This is the lap of a BMW M5, new 2013 model with 560 horsepower. You know, the newest M5 has an abundance of various settings, transmission setting, throttle setting, stability control setting, setting, setting. We just kind of turn all the stability control off and set everything to the most hardcore and have a go. Through a lot of these corners, you're kind of thinking to yourself, uh, I, I, I hope the car is going to do as it's told. There's very little information um, makes it from the, the contact patch back to the driver. That kind of stuff is, is critical on a racetrack, whereas on the road, it's, it's just, we'd like to have it. But uh, in this kind of environment, it's, uh, it's critical to a good lap time. Pretty composed through here. I get a little upset with myself through this corner, which felt slow, but turned out to be the quickest of the day. I just swore. You need to see there's almost 180 degrees of steering wheel just to uh, just to make that one turn. It's I wouldn't quite call it a hairpin, but it's a lot of a lot of steering in a in a car on a track. The car is really just hauling the mail. It is going every bit of 140 miles an hour before we come here to break for uh, for bitch. And again, this corner it looks slow, but from in, in the car that feels fast. Also struggled to come to terms with the brakes and and see for for this corner going into spiral. I I probably got in the brakes a little earlier than most cars and overcooked it a little there. The M5 brakes perform just as well as the $10,000 carbon ceramic brakes in the M6. Neither system provided a lot of feedback. You know, coming up here in sector four, it's this kind of flowing sequence of, of moderate speed corners. Through the last couple ones, I, I just remember, I like, can see myself even now, you know, just hunting for a little more steering like right there just but not really knowing um, exactly where the where the limits were of the tires ultimately the the standard iron rotors in the m5 work just fine and, you know a tank slapper in a 4400 pound car isn't my idea of a good time you can't have too high of expectations for a street tire in a car this heavy to last multiple, multiple laps on a, on a track that's as long as VIR. The M5 did a 305.2, which is just three tenths behind the Mercedes-Benz CLS 63. 